Hello everyone, welcome to the Bonsai Life. Today I want to show you something, something different, something not so usual. This is uh, Oleandra and uh, he is uh, from uh, Rhododendron family uh, type and uh, because like I was watching those Japanese guys making like wonderful rhododendron small buttress trunk trees flowering beautiful but rhododendron grows really slowly and it's really hard to get this this thick trunk root base and um it takes like many many years and uh, I was helping to one guy with uh, with one tree and he's growing this oleanders different types colors and everything and he asked me what do you want for, for it and I said I don't want anything and he said please take one 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 oleander I have uh, from this this is red flowering he said I have few of these same ones and I said okay I, I don't have any so I don't mind so I I had this tree for let's say two years and it was flowering and it was like two meters almost high like meter and a half definitely was it was almost high as me and it had like huge flowers beautiful but then it was attacked by something and I had to spray it and everything treat it and, and, and so on. So it didn't look so good and I was like, okay, maybe I, I should like shorten it. And I shorten it and I leave like a meter high and I was like wondering, maybe I can make something interesting out of it. I will try make experiment out of it and and shorten it totally and see if if it will bud back and it did it bud back really nicely and this is his like i cut him three times low so i started growing this low branches and uh, these are the original trunks and I was growing in this big container to make uh, really fine, fine roots. And uh, now I want to put, put him in uh, one of these two uh, pots. These are the handmade pots. And really nice pots. And I don't know which one will, will be like okay. So I have like two different sizes. And because now it's actually time to to repot and and in when weather become a little bit hotter then then it can go totally outside and these are the roots for just for the for uh, for last summer so i i was growing in in mostly in, in lava rocks so it's like mostly lava and then uh, top part is, is bonsai soil. So uh, so first I will I will uh, take take these lava rocks off and then uh, I have some mesh here, I don't know why. So I think that's the old lava rocks I had there. Look like uh, here are the sand. Yeah, lot of lava rocks. So now we'll come the roots. Last time I did, I did uh, last uh, two repotting. I did really extreme uh, uh, reduction of the roots 
and uh, and it was without any problems so I have to just be a bit gentle with roots because these roots are not so but this will anyway go down I will reduce this this root mass so this will go actually I have to reduce to, to, to put in the pot so I have to take this off so when I put him when I now change the pots and put him in a bonsai pot I will not get that coarse uh, growth but now I'm not into more into coarse growth now I will just focus on small branches and then later on on the flowers so now we'll check the roots this one is dead this one is sticking up This one is growing, I will try to redirect this one, okay, these two are crossing each other, I will try to bring this one here and this one here, okay, so, yeah, this one will stay here, these two are not exactly ideal but this one is better this one is kind of high but I need some high roots to to, to make that that full nabari this will go into pot this is going funny direction this is going this is sticking to this one I can shorten I have a small one going down so this one I can take take off this looks that this is curving <laughs> I will shorten that. Here I have already a normal trunk, so this is hardwood already, so this one is bothering me a bit, but this one is not, this one is not gonna be visible and they will fuse. This one will be visible and This one I can redirect like this. I think we are good now. I will I will check one more time when I put the tree in the pot. I have to first check the pot. I think this bigger one is huh, so okay. 
they don't fit. So I have to find a different pot. I have to find a, a bit bigger pot. So that will be problem because I don't have so many round pots. Most of my pots are square. So okay, I go in a hunt. So I wash the roots and give them disinfection because those kind of trees are really uh, uh, problematic during the the summer. They can catch all different kinds of disease. So I use uh, really light uh, 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 few drops of lime sulfur in the water and I wash the roots. So then I discover all these kinds of roots going inwards. So I will take this one out. Uh, this one maybe can stay for now. Okay, so I find a lot of pots, but they're like too small. They're really nice, but they're too small. Only one that fit is this one. And like it fit hardly, but I don't have any other than this one and it's deeper so it's okay. So I use my classical uh, lava rocks like for drainage. I encourage everybody to use lava rocks because they are really really good. Uh, they hold uh, enough of moisture. If you fertilize your trees, uh, lava rocks hold the fertilizer for a longer time, so you don't wash that fertilizer during the watering. It's really, really good. So I will put the base layer of soil and I will mount it in the middle. And I will try to fit my tree. I will have to wire the tree because I cut a lot of roots and I want all my new roots to form. So, so if you don't wire your trees, at least for on the beginning, when the tree is wiggling, then you will not get any new roots. And if you have cuttings, the cuttings usually die if they are wiggling in the pot. So I think so because I cut so many thick roots I will apply I will apply um, some root hormones I still I'm wondering if this is not too too much okay I I don't want to ruin the the root base so I can I I will do one more one more potting during the midsummer one tree will be dormant so my roots on the place let me check the angle a bit forward I think this is the front of the 
on the planting this this and so I will just slightly do that like this and now we'll fill the soil let me work that soil into the roots so it took me like 10-15 minutes to to work the soil into the roots and now I will put the uh, top layer of uh, Akadama so I can plant some moss on the top so I have some uh, so I can protect uh, the pot during the summer so I will have lower ev evaporation because uh, Oleander likes the water and uh, I did put the wire but in let's say 60 days I will take the wire off for now just for now I have it there and I have here one big branch and because I took a lot of roots off so I will shorten this branch up to here and I can shorten this I can shorten this one and I can shorten this one I have a leaf pointing down okay here and I can shorten this one can go shorter you can see how the leaves are reduced it had like these big leaves like huge leaves like this th that this was one big leaf this is reduction after let's say two years year and a half and this is now so they get really really small so these are one of the old leaves like this one and this is like third of the, not, it's not even that, like it was like really huge leaf. So now I will put some, some Akadama and then I will put some moss on it. And then I will come back to show you the results. So I have the tree finished. This is how it looks like, maybe. I could just like trim some of these big leaves, just shorten them. And I'm really, really satisfied how the this tree turned up I think it looks really really good in time it will look even better because when I get the new branches when I get the new branches growing outwards like uh, making broom style so I will choose only the one, only the one that goes outside and the rest I will cut off and I will try to make a broom style, really wide broom style low. So when I get the flowers, so the flowers will stick up and they will look like really, really good. So 
Yeah, I had the accident with this tree in the winter. Uh, somebody was cleaning something and, and something fall on the tree and broke few of the branches, but I hope they will grow, grow again, so I'm not so concerned, but I'm really happy how it, how does, does it look like now. I have a lot of cuttings, so I will try to make some more, maybe just single trunk. So cuttings from these big branches I will grow now in big container to get some bigger and then I will make a trunk chop and start growing the start growing the branches and everything. So if you if you like this tree same as me please thumbs up, share, like, subscribe if you're not and see you next time. Bye-bye.